He is known for his extensive study of the lower forms of animal life. He is recognized for his contributions to the field of natural history. His name is Henri Milne Edwards. In the world of natural history, one name stands out, Henri Milne Edwards, a French biologist whose contributions to the field are remarkable. Born in Bruges, present-day Belgium, Henri was the 27th child of William Edwards, an English planter, and Elizabeth Vaux, a French woman. Raised in Paris by his older brother, Guillaume Frederick Edwards, a renowned physiologist and ethnologist, Henri initially pursued a career in medicine, graduating as an MD in 1823. However, his passion for natural history soon took precedence, leading him to delve into the study of the lower forms of animal life. Under the guidance of influential figures like Georges Cuvier and Jean-Victoire Audouin, Henri honed his skills as a student of biology. His dedication and curiosity propelled him to explore the intricacies of the natural world, particularly focusing on the study of various animal species. Henri Milne Edwards was not only a distinguished biologist but also a devoted family man. He married Laura Trezel, and together they had nine children, including their son Alphonse Milne Edwards, who would also become a renowned biologist. Henry's commitment to both his scientific pursuits and his family exemplified his passion for knowledge and his desire to leave a lasting impact on the field of biology. In the early 19th century, Henri Milne Edwards, a French scientist, made significant contributions to the fields of marine biology and zoology. His passion for understanding the natural world led him on expeditions and enabled him to describe new species and develop classification schemes. During the years 1826 and 1828, Milne Edwards conducted two dredging expeditions near Granville, France, together with his friend Audouin. The findings from these expeditions formed the basis of a paper presented to the French Academy of Sciences in 1829. His work stood out for its clear distinction of four zones within the marine fauna along the French coast. In addition to his work in marine biology, Milne Edwards also made notable contributions to herpetology, the study of reptiles and amphibians. In 1829, he described and named five new species of lizards, further expanding our understanding of these creatures. Milne Edwards's expertise and dedication to his field led to prestigious positions throughout his career. He became a professor of hygiene and natural history in 1832 and later succeeded Audouin as the chair of entomology at the Museum National d'Histoire Naturelle in 1841. In 1862, he took over the long vacant chair of zoology, succeeding Isidore Geoffrey St. Hilaire. Throughout his career, Milne Edwards published numerous works, many of which were featured in the Annals de Sciences Naturelles. His book on crustaceans, Histoire naturelle de crustaceans, became a standard reference in the field. He also published works on corallières, physiology, anatomy, and zoology, some of which gained widespread popularity. Milne Edwards's contributions did not go unnoticed by the scientific community. In 1842, he was elected a foreign member of the Royal Society and was awarded the prestigious Copley Medal by the Society in 1856. His influence extended beyond France, as he was also elected as an international member of the American Philosophical Society in 1860. Henri Milne Edwards's legacy in the scientific world continued through his son, Alphonse Milne Edwards, who followed in his father's footsteps as a professor and made significant contributions to the study of fossil birds and deep sea exploration. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.